some people reading this might hold a negative view of Gamergate. Do you have anything that you want to say to these people? I guess I would say talk to us. Actually talk to us and don't get your impression of us from third parties, most of whom hate us. Well, I mean, if they're reading this book... Um... If they're reading this book, they're probably willing to, get a, to give us a chance. But like they're not gonna like talk to us because like we don't exist anymore. Gamergate's dead. Well, the people are still out there. I mean, I Most. feel like you have an opportunity here to. I mean, maybe you don't want to take it. I don't know, but I feel like you have an opportunity here to try and like make a statement about like what is something that they should reconsider about GG and talk to us is good. I I, I don't disagree, but like. Okay we're not around anymore like in a, as a as a cohesive thing so okay maybe i shouldn't shit on your answer sorry we could just leave it at that <laughs> well hey, you want me to have a sort of buddhist monk cone here well you've argued this for hundreds of hours if... like Give me your best sales pitch on GG. Okay. If you think that our issues are with identity rather than ideology, if you think that we hate women or we hate black people or what have you, then... Why are there so many counterexamples? Why are there so many, you know, works of media that we've embraced or e-celebs that we've supported or what have you? Who are those things? It, it can't possibly all be some sort of grand cover or disguise on our part. You could never get this many people to keep it up for this long, when we haven't gained anything from it, if it's all a ruse, if all of our protestations that we're tolerant and that many of us are liberals and that we're not all white men and that we don't hate X, Y, and Z are all ruses and facades, what have we gained from them? Our optics are terrible. The whole narrative is against us from a purely tactical perspective. At this point, we have nothing to lose by just being assholes. So why haven't we? Why do we continue to protest these things and to to supposedly pretend that we like, you know, Battle Angel Alita or whatever, or the Wonder Woman movie, which... What's wrong with Battle Angel Alita? I've not seen it, but well, I we, it's really good. It is good. It is good. But, you know, when, when the whole Captain Marvel thing was going, one of the things that we said is, if we just hate women, why aren't we just as mad at Battle Angel Alita? which was coming out at pretty much the same time. Why is it only Captain Marvel that's, that's getting this negative reaction if the, if the real reason is we hate women? And they would just say, oh, well, you know, you're just, you're just using Battle Angel Alita as a wedge. You're just pretending to like it. Well, I'm still fighting for a sequel on Twitter, so if I'm pretending, I've been pretending for four years now, what the hell did I ever get from like from pretending to like a movie for four years? Why would anyone do that? And if you accept that we don't have anything to gain from this vast, you know, this vast con over all these years, 
then you have to accept that our reasoning is what we say it is. That it's not about hating identity groups, it's about opposing an ideology. That we don't mind, you know, those identity groups in media or in our spaces or what have you. We just consider the ideology destructive and we want it out. And you may agree or disagree with us on that ideology, on the social justice stuff, and on what we perceive it as standing for versus what its proponents claim that it stands for. But at least an ideology, a belief system, is a choice. That's not the same thing as hating people for the way they were born. Anything else you want to talk about regarding Gamergate? No. I think I'm I'm done. That is my long drawn out Buddhist monk wisdom. Hey, it's only been five hours, man. <laughs> yeah, it's only been five hours and I only need sleep. Alright, well hey, thanks for coming on. Um Always a pleasure. It's been fun. It went a little bit longer than I expected by like three to three hours <laughs> and seven minutes. Uh <laughs> but uh yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do this weekend if I got these two doubled doubled up ones. Maybe the other ones won't go as long. I don't know. Oh, let's not kid ourselves. Um, on Sunday, I've got a 10 a.m. and then a 1 p.m. right after that. So this might not this might not be a great... Man, maybe I should only do one per day, man. This is going to be like a huge, exhausting thing. <laughs> well, if you... Get, if, you, if you're exhausted and you want to break from it, I'm down no, for some don't say annihilation. That. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. I thought you were going to say take a break from the project. I'm like, no! <laughs> Wait, what? Hang on. Someone, I was going to launch a raid. But yeah, dude, we can play Total Annihilation sometime.